This is the Hellbent Holsters clamshell 3.0 wallet. It, ah, it starts getting really hot. It can't be because of the Hellbent side, but anyway, this is an interesting wallet. Keep watching. Welcome to Wallatopia, and thanks for joining us. Please go to wallatopia.info and register to receive notifications on new videos, deals wallet vendors are sharing, and opportunities to win wallets we give away every other week. Now, let's open up the Hellbent Holster 3O wallet. Now, when I saw this, I had to review this, and wow, geez, this is hot. Ow. Oh, man, okay. Jeez. Anyway, <clears throat> It must be the hell part about it. We'll have to be very careful. Comes in a nice tin, which is a nice touch for it. The logo on the top. Side looks like we've got a felt bag, like that. Tissue paper at the bottom. And what do we have? And here it is. Okay, this is what I saw. And for those who know this wallet, I'm sure you love it. For those who haven't, Let's get acquainted. It's very simple in design. Package fits the branding, obviously. The company likes to call these combat wallets. So I'll move this around too fast for you. Get a good view of this. Now let's review the features of the Hellbent Holsters 3.0 wallet. This wallet is the 3.0 version. They have 2.5 versions. This is the medium size, which can fit up to nine cards, which all fit right inside of here. And now if we roll this over, there's nothing by way of features here. However, right here we see a slot. And this slot is what accommodates money clips that you can buy from them. And they have all kinds of very unique money clips, and I think you can even customize your own there. What that does is that just slips right in here, so it slips and locks right in here, put your money underneath that. And we may show the money clip portion of this in a different video. But from there, you know, we have the uh, tension pins right in here, screws, that provide what we see here, which is the ability to hold the cards in. So it's tension based. All the cards go into here. And that is a review of the features of the Hellbent Holsters 3.0 wallet. Now let's move to the card and cash insertion test. I'm not going to use cash on this one, just cards. As I mentioned, this is the medium version of the wallet, which the company indicates you can get up to nine cards in, which we put in there. There were no issues there. They have a larger capacity version, which you can get up to 12 cards. Uh, now, the method of, of extracting the cards is simple, and you saw me do that. It, it's really easy. Let me take you through that again really quickly. All right, so we have our cards here. We've got a full nine, so we can make this a, a fair exercise. All you do is just kind of open up the clam from the top. You just shove them in, and they sit there. And the tension that's created from these bolts here on the end is what actually keeps this shut and really prevents cards from coming out. Now it's not flawless of course, if you really go at it hard you'll be able to get them out, but really for the most part you're not seeing any movement there, which is nice. Now to get to the cards you want, all you do is just is thumb flay out the cards that sit in here and it's very easy, you, you don't have to really struggle at all. And I like this compared to most band wallets because the band wallets are either having to work against uh, the tension overall and you have to pull the whole stack out to get to them before you then put them back in. Or you can only work with the cards on the top or the bottom. This one allows you to really flay the cards out when you find the card you want. Well, let's, let's show that. So you find the card you want, let's say it's in the middle of the stack, you pull it out, you use it, you can just put that back in and uh, easily just shove them all back in here. And once you do that, then, and granted I did stuff this full here. It uh, ends up nicely, and you know, really, you're just left with the clam, this clamshell here, and it's just kind of cool. There is a slot for this optional money clip that I mentioned before, and the ability to customize this wallet with very attractive money clips is really a nice touch. Now, of course, it does bulk out from here, and the thing I really like about this is the ability for it to just smoothly come in and out of your pocket. It's just so nice. Now, regarding the quality. This is made from billet aluminum and is made in the USA. The construction may be simple, but the design, mechanical, functional, and aesthetically 
uh, aesthetical aspect of this really lends itself to longevity and also the attractiveness of the wallet. It's, it's very clever. Now it is priced for at $105, which is premium for this. We'd imagine more in the $55 to $80 range. I wonder if this could be if this could be done in titanium, or would the metal not provide enough flex? I don't know for sure. Speaking of what you can adjust, you can adjust the uh, tension on here, but it didn't come with any tools like you typically see with band wallets. I'm sure it's you know easy enough to find something that fits here, but that would have been a nice touch. It might appear that the cards would fall, like I mentioned, but they really don't, and that's really due to the tension here of this clamshell. And what's neat is that as you pull cards out from here, let me show this again. It just it just clamps, you know. You put them you put them in or pull them out, and you can hear that. It just kind of keeps them secure. And that's one of the reasons why I really like this is uh, it, it addresses it knows its capacity, which is nine cards, but otherwise the, the the tension just allows the cards to stay in here without any problems. They have a version available that does attach to a tether. And I like the ability to put other items in here like punch cards, IDs, or anything else because it's wide enough to handle it. And, and really, as long as you're within the kind of capacity uh, parameters here, it can handle it just fine. Now, it measures 6 inches by 4 inches by 0.75 inches thin. And if the metal isn't interesting to you, they also sell versions of this wallet made from high-impact thermoform plastic in several colors. And they all have a pattern on it of carbon fiber. Now, let's get to the final score. For quality of 4, for price of 2, features of 3, usability of 4, and perception of 4, that makes the final score 3.5 out of 5 or 35 out of 50. Thanks for joining us again. Please go to wallatopia.info slash ask, leave us a voicemail or send us an email and let us know what kind of wallet you'd like us to review next. Thanks, bye.